Alright, so null. What does null do? Null just says that okay, this particular field column will accept null as a value. Okay, if you don't select it, it won't accept null. It will just leave it as blank. Okay, we'll see that too. Oops, what happened here? Okay, so the next is index. Very, very, very important. Okay, keep your all ears here. So index. You see there, index, primary, unique, and index, and full text. I don't know what exactly full text is. I have never used full text. But I'll be talking about these three. Primary, unique, and index. So what is primary? So next is index. Index is primary, unique, and index. <coughs> primary is nothing but, is this a primary key? When we say primary key, primary key is essential key which is used to identify a column, a row actually. Okay, primary key is used to identify. So remember, if you have an ID field, it should always be a primary key. Okay, this is remember just, just remember that if you have an ID field, okay, make it as the primary key. And there will be only primary key per every table, only one primary key. I mean, when I say only one primary key, only one primary key column. There will be only one primary key column. All right. The next is unique. Unique is like it won't accept duplicates. If you say email, let's say there is a field called email. Can there be duplicate emails? Is is that a possibility? Can two people have the same emails? Yes. Can two people have the same emails? No. So email is always unique. Right? And two people can have the same name and last name too. But emails are always unique. So unique is nothing but which sets that particular column as okay, don't accept duplicates. That's what unique says. And there is index. So why index? We, we discussed this in yesterday's class that index is used to fetch data fast. Like when you say field index, you can search using that index really fast. So it's it's a, it's a what I call is, uh, I, don't, I don't get the word, but it's like an alternative to primary key. Like primary key, since there can be only one primary key, they, they have given an option. Okay. Primary key is used to fetch the fields like uh, this is this is the main field wherein you can get the data from all you gotta do is like if you want to update okay if you want to like this will be this is unique plus index okay let's take uh, in a clear way this is unique plus index primary key. So this will be, this is not duplicate and this is used to fetch data. Okay, primary key equal to unique plus index. Whereas index is, use, this is used to fetch data, but this can be duplicate too. And most of the times, this is used to map foreign keys which we have discussed yesterday foreign keys and primary keys all right so that is about index unique and primary and then the next is auto increment this ai stands for auto increment so ai if you check that that means okay you're not supposed to give that values every time this is auto increment so if the previous value is one and if you insert a new record what happens to the suppose if i say id i checked auto increment against id so i made id as auto increment 
okay now the present value is 1 if i insert another record what happens to the present value yes what will be the present value now id 2 it will become 2 so auto increment so auto increment can be used only on integers right if you if you can see that it can be only used on integers or numbers so numbers are all integers okay and most most of the times id will be primary key and auto increment okay and id will be an integer okay id will be an integer and a primary key and auto increment remember this so that is about auto increment and what else we got here and that's it comments and miami we don't need browser transformation we don't need we don't need anything all right so let's just start creating a table so this is unsigned because id won't be that primary and auto increment and then let's say this table is users right so users will be having an email let's say let's do, let's forget about the first name and last name so email is always varchar so email i'll say the length is 255 i mean just i'm taking a figure i don't need any any other thing in varchar when you say varchar you don't have to concentrate on any other thing because it's not that important so after email let's take another password okay so in string functions i skipped one part in string functions i mean uh, i i told you guys to take care of that particular part okay i hope you guys remember so for password i'll say car and 32 now don't ask me any questions why car 32 because we'll see when we insert data why car 32 remember this this is for security reasons we make the password as car32 okay and 